Hey guys, today we're gonna to check out Oldie But Goodie, the good OG HomeKit Smart Door Lock from 2015, the Schleg Sense. And we're gonna see if it makes sense to buy still today in 2021. Let's jump into the video. Having a smart door lock on my house was really something that I didn't get into until a couple years ago. In all honesty, it's gotta be one of the last HomeKit product categories that I got into. I don't know if it was some safety issue, something that was going in my mind, I just didn't want them. Even though one of my first product categories I got into was a smart garage door opener, I never felt like I needed or wanted a smart door lock since I already had the garage door opener. But now that I do have a smart lock on almost every exterior door of my house, I'm glad I finally made the plunge. There have been countless times where I found myself outside one of my doors wanting to enter, but having to walk all the way around to the garage garage door was just a huge inconvenience. And at night we can exit through the front door to go walk the dogs for a half hour, 45 minutes, and know that the door will automatically lock afterwards and come back and not worry about keys because it just has a keypad that we can put on a code. Whereas before we had to exit through the garage, which late at night, you guys know that garage doors are super loud and wake up the whole house. So now we can exit through the front door and it's nice and quiet. Plus through automations or scenes, you can make sure the entire house is all buttoned up before you go to bed. Now the Schleg Sense that we're gonna be looking at today is the Bluetooth version. It doesn't have Wi-Fi or other communication as Schleg has other locks with those protocols built in. But for HomeKit, as long as you have a HomePod HomePod mini within Bluetooth range of your door lock, you'll be fine. But if you do want to connect this to Wi-Fi for Lady A, Google, or for other online services, they do sell a Wi-Fi adapter. But in all honesty, if I was going to use this with Lady A or Google, I would get the other Schleg locks that have Wi-Fi built in, where this one does have Bluetooth only, but it's built for um, HomeKit mainly, but you can add Lady A and Google if you happen to use those services also. And of course you can use the Slag app both on Android and iPhones when your phone is within Bluetooth range of lock. But what fun <laughs> really is that? You really want to use this and connect this to the internet. Make sure you guys stay to the end of the video. I'm gonna have some great news about Slag locks and HomeKit that you're definitely not gonna want to miss. So the Slag Sense comes in three different colors. Satin Nickel, Age bronze and matte black. And it comes in two different styles, Camelot and Century. Today we're gonna to be looking at the matte black Century version as this matches perfectly with the door handle that I already had from Schleg. Which leads into my first reason why I bought this lock. Even though this lock is older technology, I knew it would perfectly match the hardware on my door and throughout my home. Now HomeKit is my primary smart home platform. So to use this lock remotely within HomeKit, you're going to need a HomeKit hub like the HomePod, HomePod mini, a Apple TV, or if you have an extra iPad laying around, you can definitely use it as a home hub, but it must be powered on 24 seven and running in home hub mode. The lock comes with everything that you need to set up this lock with most doors. You can use this on doors from one and three eighths to one and three quarters with standard pre-drilled holes. It does come with four AA batteries, which is nice, so you don't have to go buy them separately. But what is not so nice is that it only comes with one key, which at first I thought was totally weird, but once I thought about it, you shouldn't be using keys. But it would still been nice if there was two or three. Now for the lock picking geek in me, the lock only comes with the standard Schleg five pin cylinder. But that is also another reason why I bought this lock. Every single exterior door in my house has the same cylinder. Thus, I can rekey them to all have the same key. Now I know it's not the best cylinder, but it's good enough for me for right now. So if 
you have other Schleg locks in your house, you can easily rekey them yourself with this handy kit, which I'll leave affiliate links down below. Or you can run out to your local hardware store and they'll charge a very minimum fee to rekey it for you. The install instructions are super easy to follow. They actually have a little video instructions inside the app. And I was able to do it about 15 minutes, even without watching the videos. But if you do need assistance, those videos are there. There's a lot of tutorials online. And I think in most cases, you're not going to have an issue whatsoever, as long as you have the standard door with the standard or the pre-cut holes that most people have. Now, I do want to mention, if you already have a Schleg lock on your door, like I did, you cannot use that standard Schleg door deadbolt. You actually have to use the one that came in the kit. They look very similar, but they are a little bit different. On the back of the lock, they have user one and user two passcodes along with the master reset. But of course, I didn't want to use these with my home as I just want to use my own user codes, which you set inside the app. To set this up with HomeKit, just go inside of the Home app, click on the plus button, follow the prompt, scan the QR code on the back of the device, assign it to the room, and that's it. You can now use the lock in HomeKit or in the Schleg app. Now the Schleg app is nothing to write home about. Maybe back in 2015, it had all the bells and whistles that were available, but it is kind of limited comparing to some other smart locks that I've tested in the last couple of years. First of all, it only allows 30 user codes, which is not a huge deal. Most people are not going to give out 30 plus codes, so there's really no reason for that. But if you do have a bed and breakfast, that might be a deal killer where you actually need more than 30 codes. And then when it comes to the code itself, you can sign the first user with a four to eight digit code, but then all the remaining following users must have the same length code which is just the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. It must have been some limitation that they had back in 2015. But for me personally, it's not a big deal as I want everybody to have a six digit code. You can also schedule access times for each user code to only work on the time and day window that you choose. But for some reason, they only allow two schedules per user. So if you have a complex schedule that you want to use and apply, you won't be able to create it since the app is kind of limited. It does have a alarm mode setting, which you can have the lock beep each time the door is open and closed, which I'm sure some people find annoying, but I'm also sure that some people would find this useful. Personally, I hate it. <laughs> but if I did want this feature, I would probably set it up through automations where I would have it announce the door is open on all my HomePod and HomePod minis throughout my entire house. That way, no matter where I was, I would know that the door has been open. With the little sound that it makes currently, really is not gonna help you unless you're currently in that room. Plus with that automation, I don't need to have my phone nearby. I don't need to get notifications. I can just have it broadcast throughout the house and hear that someone came in through the front door. Also inside the app, you can set up a force entry alarm instead of the open and door beeping. Now this alarm is pretty loud if it detects a force entry. Now I did try your trigger this alarm by shaking the door and moving the handle and you know doing things without actually breaking the lock and unfortunately it never went off it did go off after you enter the code three times but other than that i can't tell you if it's actually going to detect a force entry or not because i'm not going to break my door for a, for a video it's just not something i'm going to do so i wouldn't count on this alarm if i was you definitely get a home alarm if that is something that you are concerned with. You can also set up a one-touch lock setting where this will allow you to simply press the Schleg logo on the outside door as you're leaving and it'll lock the door. You don't have to enter a code. Now you can set up auto lock delays, but in all honesty, it's one of the worst features I've seen on most smart door locks. Having it set to a certain time, 30 seconds, one minute, five minutes, whatever it is, no matter what time it is, simply because it's timer based, and it doesn't account for if the door is actually closed or not. But each to their own, as I'm sure some people will use it. But personally, I'd rather have an automation set up with a contact sensor to have a more customization on the door and to know when the door is actually shut. So pretty much 
everything I do with this lock is inside the home app and not inside the Schlage app, except for accessing or entering the access codes and setting that up one time. So I'm gonna set that up and then forget about it. Everything else is inside the home app, including auto locking and unlocking. If you guys wanna learn more on how I do the auto locking and unlocking, let me know down in the comments below. I'll be sure to make a video about it on my extras channel. Now, now the lock is pretty expensive even six years after it came out. Actually, it's still more expensive than many new door locks that are currently on the market. So the big question is, why would you buy the Schleg Sense in 2021 and do I think it's worth it? Well, simply it is overpriced for most people. I would say it is not worth it. There are better options on the market for home kit lovers like myself. but. If you do want a lock that is easily rekeyed to other Schleg locks, or if you want a lock that matches your current style and color um, door handle, then this is the lock that I would buy. Actually guys, that is the reason I bought this lock for myself. Now, of course, I could change the cylinder on a newer smart door lock that had very similar look and color, but in all honesty, I couldn't find one that matched my current door and, and the handle that I had. So I just pulled the trigger on this one and I'm actually quite happy with it. Plus, I trust the Schleg brand to be one of the best in the industry even years after it was released. Schleg has been around forever. I definitely trust their products on a security product over some other no name brand that might look great on my door. So even though this one might be older and more expensive, I would still put this on over a no name brand lock. So now for the news about Schlage and HomeKit, if you haven't already heard, back in June, Apple announced they're gonna have a new feature called the Apple Home Keys. Now this feature will allow you to take your iPhone or Apple Watch and simply go up to a Home Keys enable lock and unlock it. Now I have been in contact with Schlage's PR and they have told me that Schlage is gonna be expanding their HomeKit line in the very near future, which will include devices for this new Apple Home Keys feature. So I look forward to checking out that lock when it comes out and hopefully they have the right color and style for my door lock. Either way, I'll probably still show it to you guys. Thanks for watching guys. If you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button for more home kit and smart home content right here on Modern Day Tech. I do wanna thank all my Patreon members. These guys are awesome. If you wanna learn more about Patreon and all the benefits of becoming a Patreon member, definitely check out this link right here. And if you want to see another awesome smart home kit door lock that I would use on another door, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next video. I'm out.